Okay, so we're here with our third build project of the camp, which is rubber band powered cars. This one uh, is a design that's out there that we've kind of tweaked to our own um, evil purposes. So you're going to start off by uh, needing uh, four CDs and two balloons, two wheels, or I mean two pencils. Uh, you do need the round kind now because they're going to act as the axles. A piece of uh, cardstock, uh, a piece of cardboard that I've cut to be eight inches by five inches or somewhere close to that. It doesn't have to be exact. And uh, of course uh, two paint sticks on this one with our normal tools of hammer, drill, um, glue gun, pliers, that sort of thing. On this you're going to, one way to do it is to make uh, cut out of half inch plywood um, these little blocks that are anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half square or rectangular, doesn't have to be exact, and then I drilled them with the same 930 seconds drill so the pencil fits through that. These are going to act sort of as hubs that will glue on um, to the end of the CDs. So let's see here, um, probably a good spot to start first would be to um, once again pull off the eraser ends with our needle nose pliers and sometimes the eraser just comes off and you got to pull on the metal for a bit. And I'll kind of show you what I mean here. Um, I can now take the pencils and hammer them. Um, I don't want to do that on both sides yet because I need to slip them into the straws that I'm going to make. It's important when you are drilling them to get the drill hole straight. This one you can see is a little bit crooked and that's going to cause the wheel to wobble a little bit. This one is more straight but it's real hard to get them perfect anyway. So, And then what we'll be doing on this eventually here is I'll be gluing this wood block onto the CD um, so it's good and solid. There's other ways to do it, but that's what we found works the best when you're doing a lot of them. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the paint sticks and I'm going to glue them, a hot glue here onto the edge of the cardboard so that I have a little bit that sticks up on one side, maybe in an inch or so, and then a lot that sticks up on the back. Uh, on the, the back I'll have the end that we, that's uh, rubber band powered. So I'm going to take the hot glue gun here and put a bunch of glue on this stick. Be careful not to burn yourself once again. And put it right on the edge there. The same on my other one here. These pretty much are support so the cardboard doesn't bend, but also a uh, nice place to be able to hook on uh, the little straw axle cover things we're going to make. So I'm going to show you how to make those. On your cardstock, just cut it into um, half long ways and then cut it into half and half again. Now this part's a little bit tricky here. Um, what I'm going to do is roll up um, a pencil in the cardboard. Or, I'm sorry, in the cardstock. And it kind of bends on you and doesn't quite roll exact, but we've tried to find a straw that's big enough to fit a pencil in, and we've had no luck. So if you can find a, a big straw that you can fit the pencil through, it would save you a nice step there, but I haven't been able to. Okay, so that's about the right size. I don't want it to be too tight. If it's too tight, then this can't spin very well. So you've got to be careful of that. I'll take a little piece of tape now and <clears throat> tape the paper so it stays in place. Something like that. Now that one actually is short so I'm going to cut it in half and that's going to be the back part. So I want the two, the ones in the back to have a gap between them. That way I can hook the rubber band around the pencil there. 
In fact, I'm going to trim them so they're just a little bit narrower too. Okay, uh, on this other one, I'm going to make sure I roll it the, the wider way. Um, that way it's a little bit wider for the front. And once again, you want to make sure that it's loose enough. Get your piece of tape. Tape it so it stays. If you can get the tape to cooperate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, hot glue these down now. And it might be easier for you if the pencil is actually in it to kind of help you see. It's very important that the pencil, uh, the straw is glued on so it's not at an angle. You want it to be straight across so that your car goes straight. I don't know if it matters exactly where you put this, but somewhere in there. So I'm going to put some glue on here. Careful not to burn yourself as always. Set it down here and try to push it down in the glue and get it so that it goes straight across. Okay, I'm going to let that set. Then I'm going to come back to the back and do the same thing. I want it in the back to have it about in the middle of uh, the end of the sticks and the end of the cardboard. The nice thing about using the sticks is you don't have to cut out a gap in the cardboard um, because you just make the cardboard shorter. Now the back ones need to be in really solid because they'll be getting pulled on by rubber bands all the time. So really get those pushed down and glued well. Make sure you leave enough of a gap Glue that to the table a little bit um, in here so you can wrap your rubber band around that. And you don't want to get any glue on the pencil because then it'll have trouble turning. Okay, so now we've got to that point. We're getting close to done here. <clears throat> now I'm going to take two balloons and I'm going to cut them so that I cut the rounded end off. And I cut off the neck. And I'm going to put these over the CD uh, so they are traction, basically, like a rubber tire for the back wheels. I don't really need them for the front wheels. This might be a two-person operation. Um, we'll see if I can get it here. It's interesting. Different colors of balloons have different stretchiness. Some are easier to stretch than others. So I kind of just get something that looks like that. Got glue on my hand here. Okay. And then I do the same thing with the second balloon. And open it up here. See, that one's tougher to stretch. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, if I make enough facial expressions, it usually works. So you can tell that's tighter, it's not as loose on there. So there's the second one. Okay, now I think we're ready to uh, put our axles in. And pound in the hub here. Got that one. Whoop. Got this one. And 
now we're ready to glue the tires on. Make sure you get the rubber balloon ones, the, the balloon side in the back. Okay, on this one you don't really care if the glue goes through the hole to the other side because it's not like the hovercraft. So I'm going to make sure that I do it so that the center of the pencil is in the center of the CD hole there. And then the other side. Once again, the balloon wheel. I want the center of the hole so the pencil is centered in that. So just like that. And then I'm going to do um, somehow I'm short a CD it looks like or there's two stuck here okay so I need another CD stick it once again, so it's centered. And uh, while we're waiting for that other CD, I'll show you how to make the rubber band chain. You just take two rubber bands, <clears throat> put one like that, and then put it through itself. Okay, so I've got this other one. I'll put uh, this last wheel on. And it's centered. And you can see there's a little bit of play in the wheels. They can go side to side a little bit, and that's okay. <clears throat> so there's my car. It should um, roll freely, which it looks like it does pretty well. And now the rubber band chain that I had, I had to stand up for this part. I'm going to uh, hook the top front rubber band around the two ends of the sticks here. and then bring it over, actually bring it over that axle, but then I want to go under this one like that so that when I start to wrap it, it will wrap it up on itself and hold itself. And then I just start turning the wheels and it stretches the rubber band. And We'll try that, and um, we'll see if we can get it to go on the counter here. Ready, set, go. Oh, and it died. See, it went a little bit crooked and hit the wall. These homemade rubber band cars, it's tough to get them to go straight for a long time, so you might have to tweak yours a little bit. Um, but that's the nice thing about them. Since you made it, you can tweak it uh, and get it to go. Our record, I think, is around 80 feet. And this one probably went, um, I would say that was like 50 feet after it hit the wall or so. Uh, so you can get them to go pretty far if you have a smooth surface.